welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Pisayo and I will travel and lifestyle brand as well as a tourism development advocate. Yes, so if you're into this channel, you know what it is. Okay, you don't know what it is. Anyways, you're welcome. Please do subscribe. Click on the subscribe button somewhere down below. Yes, you're welcome to enjoy so many awesome content on travel, lifestyle, and you know, everything tourism. Yeah. So today I'm going to be reacting to the new airport. I know, I know, I know you guys should never come after me. I know I'm really late on this. People have requested my past videos. I do a reaction video on the new international airport. So I've done videos in the past reacting to the new airport in Abuja, the new train station in Abuja also, to the new, um, basically so many airports, even in Singapore, Istanbul, so many airports. The idea of these reaction videos are mostly for development advocacy. Um, like that's like the major reason basically to advocate for development in most of these things that we do my message is this let us not settle for mediocrity let us be excellent in everything we do so i do this by comparing whatever initiative or infrastructure that we have going on with other uh, world class or um infrastructure that I, infrastructures that i can refer to as being world class basically so that we can open our minds open our hearts to development and we can also work towards it so i'm going to link some of the videos i've done go watch them i've done singapore i've done Istanbul. i've done i've done um charles de Gaulle. basically i'll link them up here you guys should go watch them out anyways so this is going to be the protocol them but like i said somebody requested in my previous reaction videos and i'm like okay i i will also the reason for the delay the sincere reason for the delay is i wanted to visit the airport and experience it for myself because i've actually been there before but apparently the one i've been there the one i've been to is the domestic airport yes so this new airport is an international airport meaning you can travel from portacos to whatever country you want to travel to i'm not sure what airlines are presently flying there because that would determine what countries you're able to visit from that airport right so anyways now we're going to be reacting to the international airport so we're going to be looking at a few prerequisites, yeah, that we can say, oh, do this airport or does this airport fall under the category of a world class airport? Because the idea is that we need to obviously get everything done perfect, not, not perfectly, but at the same time, let it be excellently done. Let us, the citizens, enjoy what has been done. Don't just do something because you want to do it, do it because you did think that we, we deserve the best and we're going to enjoy the best, right? So I've already done a video showing the prerequisite of what an international airport should look like or should have characteristics of what an international airport should look like. So go check out that video too, somewhere up there. Yeah. So today I'm gonna be reacting to the video. So onto it. Okay. I see. This was the launching date. Apparently nobody else has done a video on this airport. And I'm wondering why this is the only airport I saw on the, on the internet. This is launching date, hence the reason for all the ribbons and green, white, green clothing decoration everywhere. So, looking at the infrastructure, it looks typical, it looks neat, it looks spacious. It looks like there will not be need for people to also, if you get what I mean, like on the queue. Talking of us, like. One of the things that will be key to note here is the roofing system. But so I know in the international airport, like about last week, I saw a video footage that went viral. If I find it, I will link it or I will just put it up here for you guys. This is Moon Salam Mohammed International Airport. This is flawed. This has been happening for the past five years now, and nothing has been done. See flood. See flood everywhere. Whenever I dress like this, this is how we do experience this flood. And nothing has been done to me for the past five years now. Seven, seven years. <laughs> this is terrible. And the big bill of five million every year that we must pay. The roof was leaking, like, and apparently they've been experiencing this for years. They've been complaining. I'm talking of the um, employees themselves. They did a video. I'm like, that is terrible for an international airport again. Like, and that means even the customers will be experiencing the same. Now that we can see what this place looks like, it looks really beautiful, it looks spacious. 
I'm hoping that um, after a year or 10 years, the infrastructure will still be intact because why they use the best of the best materials that there is to use. You know, the reason why I think some people don't use the best materials for is because they lack value. I always say they lack value. Like, if you really value my well-being, you will make sure that everything you do in that will serve me is done perfectly well because you value my well-being. But if you don't value life, if you don't value people, you do anything, you do a short work, you be mediocre, or you just want the money in your bag, which is not supposed to be so. So now I see elevators, it looks good, it looks good. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I see people just speculating, walking up and down, like they don't know what they are doing or they're just waiting around, I don't know. But so far, the lights, the lightning system looks great. I like the fact that um, it, it's not all blocked up. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know the terminology to use here. But you can get reflect you can get <laughs> anywho more than 2,000 square meters of duty free space more than 1,500 uh, square meters of uh, other utility space and that's gone now the president makes his way out and that guys I don't know if they have any other footage they keep showing the same footage up and down like I don't get it uh, should begin to take us uh, to the old stretch um, in a while. Well, from what I can see, they have like almost everything intact, like in numbers to so meaning that like it's not just one counter they have like several counters so now we're trying to look out for the innovation like do they have anything i can specifically say this is innovative this is new this is unique this is awesome so far nothing but i like the fact that there are directions at least you don't get lost if you don't have anybody to ask you um, answer your questions you can easily see the boarding gates the escalators seem to be working so kudos kudos <laughs> So I don't know what the transportation is like from the airports to the to like the residential areas where people will actually start moving. For example, in, in Abuja, I like the initiative whereby they did a, a train linking people from whatever destination they had to the airport. The train does not only work for... I think it only works for the airport well i like the fact i like the thoughts behind the process the thought of oh we need to enable easy access to the airport for those who cannot easily get access or cheaper access to the airport of course train is supposed to be so to, so to say cheaper i've not experienced the train but i have seen the train and it looks good it looks easy to use right so i like that initiative now i don't know how far away oh my saying i don't know i've been to Potago before <laughs> The, I don't know. I don't know if this one is close to. I'm very sure this one is close to the old, like domestic airport, right? I don't know. I'm sure it is, anyways, yeah. So be putting that in mind. I don't know if there is a like a good transportation system put in place. People, the way they have done basically in Abuja, if they have, then that would be another innovative thing that they have done, which is really nice. So kudos to them. Let's see what the baggage claim is like, because the baggage claim in Lagos International Airport is terrible. It's whack. It is terrible. We push you can improve on that thing. This one looks nice. It should better be moving now. Is it just one they have? Because I've been to Dubai, like Dubai airports, depending on the flight you came with, you see different baggage claim sections. Like no waiting, no like no hustling, like everything is there. I don't know, I can only see one here, Sha. You guys should go and take you from what I did a review on the airport in Ghana. Right, so go and check that one out. They have some of these things put in place already. So, so guys, apparently that's like the only video I was able to find online. The other videos were not too good enough to show you guys. Like they, they were not really showing anything. And this particular one, they only show some few parts of the airport. So if you really visited this airport and you want me to show more, I like think people should know more about this airport. You can send me a video clip lyfisayo.com or follow me on Twitter and Instagram and send me videos there too at the Fisayo. Yes. 
what do you think of this video or what do you think of this airport if you've experienced it i would really like to get your feedback because i've not experienced i'm only reviewing based on what i have seen i'm like okay from what i've seen okay let me actually rate it from what i see world class standard is six over ten meaning that it's above average it's good so we can only only like it's only the test of time that will determine whether this is actually good enough being that oh after a year or two at the infrastructure still in place and the escalator is still working is the roof leaking all those kind of things so we can later do a, like one year review or two years whatever it is that happens let me know if you really want to see that kind of review in the comment section below so now you should keep in mind the budget guess what the budget is the budget for this effort is two hundred and sixteen billion naira do you think it was worth it if you've experienced it i would really like to hear from you because you will be able to tell from a customer perspective from the experiential perspective oh i really like the service here it's really neat the toilets are great i hope the toilets are like the new i've told you guys i did a video go and watch the video i talk about the airports that i was in america oh yeah it was in america that maybe I finished using the toilet, I didn't want to press anything till flush by itself. Like, shoo! <laughs> I felt like a bush girl that day. So, I hope that like, things like this are put in place in this new airport. Like, something new, we don't want the redundant normal process. We need innovation. We are like, we should, we should, I mean, these people also travel abroad. Whatever they experience abroad, they should bring back to Nigeria, which is what I'm always shouting for. Let there be development. I'm happy, mind you guys, I'm really happy about the fact that at least. Before we only had one international airport, which was in Lagos. Now there is in Abuja and there is in Portugal, which are like three major commercial zones in Nigeria right now. So that's it from me for this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's interact, let's talk. I'll be really looking forward to answering your questions and be interacting with you. Yes, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Till next time, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't yeah <laughs> like and share this video with your family and friends if you think it's worth sharing and also go check out my podcast the big dreamers podcast i'll see you in my next video do not forget to stay awesome saints bye peace